Well, this is Guns, Knives, and Watches. And when you're dealing with knives and you're dealing with all this stuff and you're dealing with gear, in a world where everything has been miniaturized, made smaller, made, you know, da 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 da, where it's using less resources, cheaper to make, da, you know, these small screwdrivers just are invaluable. This is one that says Kershaw. I think it's a, just a tchotchke I got it at, at somewhere, a show or something. Has three different bits in it that are for, you know, they chose to go with their knives. Is this a really good tool? Yeah, it is. Um, for no more than the thing costs, if you were to buy it, I would say, I think I've seen these for maybe 4 or $5 somewhere. And it's got a good magnet in the end. Everything's magnetic, da 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 You can have it on your key ring, which that's the thing about having this stuff. You're going to have to have it with you. What I wind up and use all the time, or I use these Swiss Army knives, and this is, the, I think, the Night Watchman. And this, of course, is the ever-loved Midnight Mini Champ with the white LED light. You know, why do I love these things? They have a magnetic Phillips screwdriver. They've got your standard screwdriver. Oops. Wrong blade thing. They got your standard little screwdriver, and you can tune this screwdriver up if you want to. Uh, you can just run it across something, just a small light sandpaper, and make that a, a very uh, precise tip on it. Make it more precise. Because remember, these things are being knocked out by a machine pretty quick. And it's got a good tip on it, but it can be made just a little bit better. Well, I'm going to give you another option to have in your kit because these are basically key ring things and, you know, I've got the hook from County Com on it and, you know, we've talked about that in other, other videos. Let's talk about something else from County Com and I'll basically let you in on my evaluation process and how I do things. And, you know, it's the way it is, man. It comes in this cool tube and they probably have a cool name for this cool tube. What is this cool tube? This cool tube, you buy them, sell them, trade them, recycle them all the time. Not really. You buy them and you recycle them all the time. This is a 2 liter Coke bottle. It hasn't been um, formed yet. These things are really strong, really durable. And because it's the, contain it's the same amount of plastic that you have in your 2 liter Coke bottle, just thicker walls, this, there, or the other. It hasn't been heated up and formed in your bottle. As I said, they probably have a cool name for it, but, you know, that's, that's what it is. It's a 2-liter Coke bottle before it became a 2-liter Coke bottle. Well, we've got what they call a technician screwdriver here. Looks good on the outside. Fit and finish is really good. Clips good. You know, it's not too, too tight. Unscrew one end. You've got a Phillips and a slotted. You have a P00 Phillips and a 1 16th standard. On the other side of this handy dandy device, you've got another double head. This is a P0 Phillips and a 1 8 inch regular. So it's perfect for a lot of the things where you're running in, you know, you're working on computers, you're doing that type of stuff, you're working on small electronics around security systems, you want to do any of that type of stuff, this is a really handy little tool. Of course, made in the USA, it says, uh, you know, it has cage code and says US on it. Now, one problem I have with it is mine... I couldn't hardly pull the, the, the bit in and out of it. This is how I fixed it. That little, what you basically have here is you have threads and then you have an insert that's threaded to go into it, male female threads, with that hexagon in there. And, you know, it just threads in there. Well, if something screws in, you can unscrew it. So, what I basically did was I broke it loose, adjusted a little bit, put some Loctite on it, and made it to where it wasn't pressing on the O-ring quite so tight, and made it to where I could get the bits in and out. 
that fixed my problem with this device. Then I go, well, let's look at the cap. The cap, what is that thing there? Well, what I figured out was that thing there is a magnet, okay? Very strong magnet, as you can see. I can pick up this little multi-tool. So that's great for your screws. You can keep your screws on the end of it as you unscrew them. You can pick them up with it. You can do whatever, okay? Awesome. Like most things nowadays, that cap won't go anywhere because the two ends are, are made basically the same. Same diameter. Now, they make this Technician screwdriver in two different flavors. Of course, this is the one that's $14. It's made out of aluminum and da-da-da-da-da, okay? They also make one made out of nylon that's $4, okay? Or made out of a polymer, okay? To be honest, and this is my honest to God recommendation, if you need a screwdriver of these bits, what I would probably venture to do is I would get the $4 one, you know, throw it in on order or something. Because if you use it a lot and you want to upgrade to this one, you have a couple different things. One, you have a screwdriver that will not conduct electricity. So if you're working around electricity and you're worried about shorting two things out, on that one you've only got that much metal going into something. This one you've got a little bit more and the possibility of having static whatever else, you know, interfere with something. Second thing, these bits, I don't know where I can get these bits, okay? So if I break one of these bits, because I've been known to do that, I break things. I've got a $14 tool that I just basically made into a paperweight instead of an alternative. Okay, the $4 tool, if I break it, so what? Toss it, get another one. It's the price of doing business. Of course, this, this one has a cool factor to it. And it, it is a cool tool. Another thing, when you're carrying around your kit, your gear, you want things to basically kind of be light. And I'm not just always preaching on the light bandwagon because I'm a puss, okay? I'm just saying when you're carrying a bunch of gear and you're having to go up flights of stairs and you're having to do all this stuff, it just makes a hell of a lot of sense to have a lighter tool. And if you have one that conducts doesn't conduct electricity and... You know, if you break a bitch, you can just toss it and get another one. It makes a hell of a lot more sense than spending $14 on this. If you use this thing a lot, you know, and you want the cool factor and everything else, it's not a bad screwdriver set. Would I buy it again? Yes, I would buy it again. Would I recommend it to someone? Yeah. You know, you get into this stuff and you, you become a, a tool fanatic and you wind up and have all this little stuff, this, that, or the other. And this is a really cool little tool. Throw in your glove box. You know, it's in there. You, th you throw it in your kit. And if you have to deal with electronics and deal with small stuff all the time and have a requirement for these size bits, you know, this is not a bad tool in any way, shape, form, or fashion. You know, you can use this and do something else with it and, you know, store batteries in it, do whatever. If you screw the thing all the way down where the security, where the anti-tamper seal locks on, then, you know, you you basically just, you seal the, the damn two-liter Coke bottle. When you take it back out, the anti-tamper anti seal is going to, of course, break. So, you know... If you're wishy-washy between the two, get the $4 one. If you know you have a use for those bits and don't care about the extra, you know, expense, if you break it or this, there, or the other, get this one. The ones I wind up and use all the time, of course, is my Midnight Mini Champ. I don't go anywhere without this thing. I have one of these on every set of my keys, and I have that clip from Countycom. Because Countycom, believe it or not, when you're making these small batches of these things, or even if, you know, a large batch. If you're not setting up a plant to manufacture just this and you're going to do a million of them, you're going to have a few little small idiosyncrasies with stuff. I've had peanut lighters where I've had to take a, you know, it was the inside bore of the peanut lighter was too small. So I took a piece of sandpaper, rolled it up, and, and spun the, 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 
the uh, tube that the peanut lighter sets in the inside of it and then the the lighter insert went in and out of there perfectly so you know just be aware it's basically handmade kit in the United States that's part of the reason it's $14 price I guarantee you the nylon ones also made in the United States the bits are made wherever um, they may be made here also who knows but this is Guns, Knives, and Watches with my small tool kind of rant, ideas, thoughts. But this is the County Comp Technician Screwdriver and the Midnight Mini Champ. My go-to tools of choice. Have a good one.